Hello ladies and gentlemen, and thank you guys so much for watching. You know, we don't get to do this very often. Um, we're role-playing as e an EMS supervisor. And we have just called ourselves back available. I mean, I was reckless driving earlier, but that was also because it was raining like none other. So I know where Berkeley News is.
<laughs> oh, good God.
Cause I don't wanna. I don't. I don't care. I I just. I do want to know what the hoo hoo call is all about. <laughs> and don't and people who have a very twisted brain don't take that the other way. Back shame on you for thinking about it. Oh, shame on me for lacking the PPE. Oops. <laughs> oh, my heart just sunk for a second when I got out the car realizing I just did something terrible. I could have a disease now. And that's what happens with bloodborne pathogens. Gotta wear your PPE, which is, for medical calls, it's usually just your plain rubber glove. And whatever you can get to uh, cover your arms and legs. And great for the washing machine, because if it's on you, you kind of have to decontaminate it. Not fun, especially when it's your favorite shirt, which is usually the one that says whichever fire district you are at, or you work for, rather. Hmm, which gives me another topic to talk about. Uh, As of earlier this afternoon, I was told that our conflight crew who we went up to oh I can't I heard give me one second. The Darlene 3 fire in Deschutes County, Oregon. Um, our conflight team uh, actually is returning tomorrow. This is. This is. This could out. This could also change. Our fire, as far as watch duty is concerned, is 50% con uh, contained. I almost said contaminated. That would have been bad. Um, this fire did burn up to 3,889 acres, and is still burning. Our, my deepest prayers are still with you, as uh, I can already tell you by how scary the fire that was near our district, uh, referring to the Beachy Creek Fire in 2020, uh, there was just... You could just wake up around 9 in the morning and it's just pitch black outside as if it was 3 in the morning. Kid you not. It did not. You could not see the sky until at least 11 o'clock. 
It was weird. But that was the Beachy Creek fire for you. And that's also a good taste of what I'm about to deal with. Uh, along the lines of my firefighting career so far. But yeah, those uh, our uh, Type 6 one-ton brush rig is going to return with our uh, secondary command, or what I would call a quote-unquote spare uh, command rig. It's known as a staff vehicle. Don't question why I'm circling the car, but... Um, But, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, they're coming, they're supposed to be coming home tomorrow. Didn't give us a time, which is accurate. And... Yeah. I'm excited to see those two rigs coming back home. Because running calls when we really could have used a squad rig was absolutely impossible, really. Our, prob our probationary firefighters are uh, start their driving hours on those staff rigs, and we are supposed to identify it as a squad. And we do. I am very interested in what we were we are going to call our uh, newest to the fleet. Uh, rig that should be very soon being placed into service. It's got the radios in, it's got the light bars in, it's got every little thing, and I'm telling you what, that thing looks pretty. And I'm gonna, I'm telling you now, I think our fire chief is e has even fallen in love with it. He's more, he more wants it because of the possibility of storage. And I don't blame him. The pickup truck he currently drives does not give him the ability to uh, have so much storage. In fact, I wouldn't even bother having a crew of four on, including the driver, of course. Uh, a crew of four on the rig. I mean, yeah, he could probably put his bunker gear and his helmets uh, in the back, which is enclosed. But... And he would also be giving up a 2024, I think, Ford F-150 XLT. I think. Might be an XL. I don't know. It sure has a pep in its step. 
and it had much more pep in its step when it was first in service. The new rig that I will soon have access to drive to scenes, or whenever, really. <clears throat> um, well, whenever they need me to, anyway. Uh, thought I'd clarify for a second, but <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, I'm the only one. Aww. Well... Ooh. Yeah. No, not that one. I meant to hit F to take off my gloves. It's been a pretty quiet um, night so far. Uh, tonight, as far as real life calls go. And yes, I said the Q word. As I recorded this, and it's uh, 11.44 p.m., uh, uh, yeah, June 28th of 2024. So you now know the exact time and date that this was recorded. And this will, this will make it straight on to YouTube. I'll make darn sure of it. Well, on the bright note, thank you guys so much for watching.